so much. Uh, we have with us tonight the former heavyweight champion of the world, one of the few men ever to beat Muhammad Ali, and with him the current light heavyweight champ, his kid brother, Meet Michael and Leon Spinks. Sir, why don't you guys uh, pick out chairs there? Don't fight over them, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Do you mind if I open this up now? I'll be happy to. This is a, a, a tradition that I hope catches on, the guests bringing me gifts. <laughs> this is very this is nice. my promoter there, uh, Butch Lewis. Okay. He this thought is, he oh, it's a nice shirt. Butch Lewis. Now, I have yes. a Butch Lewis shirt. This is the only one in my collection I don't have, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, oh. That's nice. That is very nice. Um, Leon, let me, uh, you had some trouble getting in from Detroit. I'm glad you made it. Uh, now, you once were the heavyweight champion of the world. True. Now, you're a young man, and, and we're even younger at the time. Was that a great deal of responsibility for you? Did you feel any different? It was a great deal of responsibility. It's something that I didn't, uh, I went, it's something I had experienced. Yeah, what was, the, was there a problem with it? No, just the understanding, it appeared. What was the difference between suddenly not being the heavyweight champion and all of a sudden you were? Well, it's just like being a, a poor man coming to a rich neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you feel like y your privacy was invaded? Yes, I was. I tried to hide away in the corners and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But I could not. Yeah. Is this something you want to be again, the heavyweight champion of the world? Well, I'd love to be that again. Yeah. But I did, did, I did cross in a more deeper corner. Yeah. Uh, now, Michael, you're the uh, light heavyweight champion, light right? Heavyweight now, champion. Do you, are you having any difficulty uh, coping with this? Is there a pressure for you? Well, no, but it, it, there are pressures there, you know, but I just seem to be able to handle them. Yeah, what are the pressures no for you? Well, the crowd, you're always being asked for autograph. No matter where you go, you're being spotted at all times. Yeah. You know, and everybody wants to talk to you, and they say some of the most incredible things to you. I say, I mean anything, but I, I love it. I just, I go to it. I like to deal with it because I like to let them know exactly what's on my mind. Yeah. You know, exactly how I feel about what they're saying to me and about the whole thing, period. What do people yeah. say to you that uh, you think that... Uh... <laughs> well, <laughs> well, a lot of times they, um, a lot of them, they try to compare us to, you know, and uh -huh. uh, a lot of times they ask me, can I beat them? A lot of times they say, well, you can. I think you can. Yeah. I say, well, I'm pretty sure he can whoop me. Yeah. And, and so on and so forth. A uh, lot of weird things. Let me ask you something, Leon. I'm, I made reference to the fact at the opening of the show that you were having trouble getting here, and people sort of started to laugh. Uh, are you driving any better? <laughs> I'm driving a lot. <laughs> now, it, is, it, is it my imagination? It seemed like there every week for a couple of years you were running into trees or something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. A tree <laughs> like me. <laughs> Uh, but now, it, was that part of the problem of being the heavyweight? Every move you made, good or bad, was in the press? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but no, no recent difficulties. No, no recent. Uh, now, you guys are in two different weight classes, aren't you? Michael yes. is a light heavyweight, and you are fighting now in, in what class? Cruiserweight. What is the cruiserweight? What do that mean? Oh, uh, cru <laughs> <laughs> uh, cruiserweight, cruiserweight fighting between... Uh, they say that it's a, a, more like a light, heavy graveyard. A light, heavy graveyard. Yeah. Because the one that can't make light heavy no more, they go to the cruiserweight. Oh, I see. And uh, you're going to stay in this uh, category? Yeah, I'm staying in Yeah. Now, um, is, is there ever a possibility that you gentlemen would fight one another? Is that, uh, I mean, for money? Well, you never know. You, you never, never know. know? It all depends on if they give the right money. If somebody got to lay down, we're going to lay down. We'll work it out. We're trying to say we'll work it out. I'm pretty sure we could work it out if uh, we were offered the right price. Amount of money. Amount of money, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, strategically speaking, it's unlikely that the cruiserweight, light heavyweight, whatever. No, really, I mean, realistically, it's, uh, it's, we'd never. We'd it really unlikely, but it would, it, it's more likely than it is. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Because we're so close together. Uh huh. Now, how does your mom feel about, uh, are you the only two sons that she has? That box, yes. Yeah, the They're box. Wrong. You have other family. Does she worry about you? I know she shows up at the fights. Does she, is she squeamish when you get punched? And, uh... She's, um, she has it better than, I think, the both of us. Uh -huh. She can keep on she can, Yeah, she's she also. Can, she can watch him. <laughs> 
she can watch him fight and be totally into it. I mean, rooting him on, uh, reffing refer the fight, yeah. I mean, judging, being in the corner, corner, man. She's everything, but I mean, I was, this what fascinated me about my mother. Once she started coming to watch us fight, her first fight was in 74. We both were fighting the Russians. I lost, Leon won. But she seemed to be so calm and cool. You know, she's just, you know, uh, she prays a lot. Uh -huh. I mean, we're a very religious family. Yeah. And my mother's my biggest prayer warrior. Yeah. Ours. Well, and, um, Thank you. She just <laughs> never... <laughs> Yeah, I had to. That's true. I, I, I didn't mean to say it. But she hounds it better yeah. than I think I ever could, and Leon yeah. also. One thing I do want to point out that I guess people realized at the time but may have forgotten now, you gentlemen are forever in history uh, for being the only brother combination to make the United States Olympic boxing team. Oh. And further, you, you, both, you both won gold medals. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry we're running out of time, gentlemen. I appreciate all the trouble it took you guys to get here. And good luck with your next fight. Same right, to you, thank Leon. You so much. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. Hotel accommodations for most guests of Late Night with David Letterman furnished by Berkshire Place, a Dunphy Classic Hotel, in exchange for this announcement. For reservations at Dunphy Hotels in the U.S. and Europe, call toll-free 800-228-2121. Thank you very much, Joe. We're all out of time. We have to go. I want to thank our studio audience, of course, and my guests, Steve Allen, Leon and Michael Spinks. Thank you, gentlemen. Howard Smith, uh, Bill Wendell, Paul Schaefer, and the orchestra. Now, Monday, TV's Jimmy Olsen, Jack Larson will be here, super athlete Julie Moss, a look at how to survive in New York on $5 a day, and Zucker, Zucker, and Abrams, the producers of Airplane. Have a good weekend. Good night, folks. <laughs>
All right, now tell me about the uh, uh, Lupi Macho Guerrilla. Who is this guy? I don't know anything about him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> have you seen films of the guy fight? No, I, I just seen him one time when I met him, and that was it. Uh-huh. Uh, is this going to be a good test for you? Well, I don't know. I'm just going to try to go out there and try to win my shot. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, how far are you away, do you think, from uh, a contender as, uh, as a heavyweight? Oh, i say another year, year and a half. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck on that. Now, as you mentioned, a couple of years ago, you were a different man. Different guy. Wild and crazy a couple of years ago, yeah. Nuts. Just nuts. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. A lot of chasing around. Having fun. Getting into trouble. No, you don't have fun now? Oh, I have no fun now. What do you do for fun now? Play jacks. <laughs> You're not playing jacks, are you? I don't think something passed away the time. <laughs> yeah, a couple of days of jacks, and boy, the time flies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, now I'm going to talk about something here that maybe you don't want to be reminded of. Uh -huh. But I, I think since you're a new man, new inspiration, new... Shoot. All right. Let's see, February... I don't know. Okay, last time you were on the show, we had a, a limousine pick you up from the hotel bring you to the show, uh -huh. after the show, take you back to the hotel. And I enjoyed it. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> Leon, you, you had the limousine from 7.30 p.m. until 10.39 a.m. I think I enjoyed it. <laughs> Uh, can I ask you about a couple of these places? Yeah. All right, you went to the stage diner. Yeah. Dinner, I guess. Yeah. Have a nice meal? Yeah. Okay. Then you, a couple other stops, some addresses I won't mention. I don't know where they are. You go to a place called um, The Outfielder. I forgot where I met an outfield somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then it was, uh, then you went to a place called The Cellar. Yeah, someone plays the party. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Went up to Yonkers, go up and see the horses run, probably? Probably did. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got back at uh, about 10.40 the next morning. I left. And then you left, sure you did. But all of that's behind you now. All right behind. All right. Um, we're going to do, uh, do a commercial here. And I tell you what, we'll be right back with uh, Pearl Burnett. Listen, Leon, good luck to you. Thank and you. come back and see us after the fight. Leon Spinks, folks.